Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm the one. If you ain't know, normally on Sundays, well, sometimes, not all the time, you know, I have a Sunday conversation just talking about life and, you know, my perspective on the things that I'm going through or been through. But today, I wanted to talk about something technical. This one is for all of you junior network admins, technicians, network technicians that are out there in the field. You know, I wanted to give you a kind of tip that I utilized in my career to help me get to where I am to today. Now, normally in an infrastructure work environment, you know, they have templates for when you're configuring switches, configuring routers, um, configuring servers. They may have templates. Let's just say that. Let's say you're in a medium size to large size business and you get tasked with configuring a switch and someone hands you a template. Say, hey, enter these commands and configure this device. Now, you can do one of two things. You can enter those commands and guess at what the commands do or you can learn what those commands do. So the first time I got tasked with that, you know, I went, entered the commands and I was already working on my CCNA. You know, studying, trying, you know, working to get to where I wanted to be, that next level. Well, I got the configs and it was like, yo, I just copied the configs, the whole configuration into, you know, the the global configuration. And I, some of the commands didn't work. And I'm like, yo, why didn't this work? And so after going through that, what I did was I got with the senior network engineer that tasked me with it and was like, hey, can we set up a meeting? Because I would really like to know what these commands do. So what I'm, what I'm suggesting is that if you get tasked with a template, take the template, you know, copy the template to another document, not the original document, to another document. If you're allowed to make sure it's OK for you to copy this template. And what you do is get with a senior network engineer or, you know, find out Google or whatever what the commands do. And in the, the copy of the template right beside it, you know what that command actually does. So that way, when you're entering these commands into this router, this switch or, you know, running these PowerShell commands, you actually know what the script does. You actually know what's going on. You know, and I was fortunate enough to have a senior network engineer to get on a call with me and go through the template line by line so I'll have an understanding of what I'm actually configuring. And it helped me tremendously. I'm forever thankful to him. You know, John, if you're listening, thanks, man. But um, being in that type of situation to have the right type of mentor, mentors that will help nurture you into a network engineer or, you know, that junior network um, engineer role is priceless. So I really suggest that you take those templates and learn line by line what you're actually entering. And then outside of just, you know, that documentation, lab it up at home. Now, don't take the, don't take the template home or anything like that. You're going to have to kind of remember because you have to keep it security in mind when you're doing this. So when you go home and you do your lab, don't use the same passwords that you're using at work. You know, don't use the same subnet mask. You know, create your own subnet mask. Create your own your own name of the the name of the VLANs. Create you know something that's not like your work because you don't want that to get in the wrong hands. So you know, but at the same time, recreate it to the best of your abilities. You know, whether it's on packet trace or whether it's on your home lab. That's the best way I learned throughout my career was reproducing production environments that I've actually been on had hands-on experience with because hands-on experience is the best teacher field experience that is because things happen that you can't recreate in the lab in the field so but it's also a great idea to be able to have seen it beforehand so the whole purpose of labbing every day is to get you an understanding but once you get in that field that's where you gain the true experience that's when you gain that true knowledge because you know why things happen like you can know different port numbers you can know why you're implementing these port port numbers but to actually see it and 
happen and actually happen to configure access list and know, okay, this didn't work because I put it on the inside and not the outside. Or, you know, that's really important. But I don't want to take too much more of your time. This video like five minutes. I just wanted to talk about, you know, how to take templates and use them to your advantage to help you improve your knowledge in the CCNA realm, CCNP realm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like this video, share, subscribe, keep pushing, keep believing in yourself, keep putting in that work. And if I can help in any way, holla at me. Peace.